our three questions, panel questions. Number one, is it possible to construct a completely prefabricated mega tall building, for example, over 600 meters? I guess everything is possible if you pursue it the right way and if you can pay for it. Um, my gut feeling is that the way tall buildings are, uh, that it, it's not something I would consider a real priority because you know, tall buildings get very special you know, and, uh, and prefabrication is uh, something you use when there is a lot of repetition. And, and as a building gets taller, it, as we all know, it changes, it gets smaller, it, it, it needs uh, different components, smaller components, less materials. That, that all speaks, at least in my opinion, against you know, prefabricating all this. You know. Sure, it's prefabricated, like the curtain wall and the steel is prefabricated. And, the elevators are prefabricated, and um, I, I guess it's just what you, where you draw the, 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 the border of what's what's made special, or what's what's made on site in situ, or what's made in the factory and brought to the site. And I think in that case, we know that a lot is happening today, which didn't happen 10, 20 years ago, that things are made away from the site. And, and so generally the trend is probably correct, but, uh, but uh, I, I think there are overriding principles when you do a tall building in terms of making it sound and, and sensible. You know, then, uh, then how you build it, and quite frankly, you have to draw a line between what you design as architect and engineer and what ultimately the builder does. Is prefabrication something that is at least a little tempting to you? Does that create new opportunities or efficiencies? Have you, have you thought about it? It always interested me. It interested me when I get to, when to IIT and uh, I try to do a prefabricated building system. And, uh, you know, and when we did the age-old problem of the Mies courthouse, uh, I didn't make it out of concrete and steel and glass. I made it out of a, a prefabricated structure and metal system. The uh, second question is, do you think wood can be a primary building material in tall buildings in the future? And if so, what is the practical height limit? Well, I mean, I think wood is a beautiful material. I, I, I think it's the material you want to use when you see it, and, and so I would say wood makes, in my opinion, only sense if you go you know, three, four, five stories at most, uh, but not anymore because uh, wood is not as is pretty flexible. It, it takes on uh, water. You know, it's definitely more combustible, and it's it's. For me, it's not a tall building material. Uh, the last question they have here is, what are the conditions that would justify a tall building's demolition rather than renovation? Uh, it's a case-to-case -case thing. You know, I mean, when you think, you know, the value of the Empire State Building today, which you know has been probably remodeled on a small and large scale, you know, ten times since it was built in the twenties, you know, in the is um, it's uh, it's worth it. You know, there might be other cases where it's not worth it. You know, and, uh, and quite frankly, you know, the, uh, there are buildings you know, which were built in the 50s, and you know, I think there are a lot of those buildings in Germany where that American skyscraper was imported, but not in the right quality, you know, which are in horrible shape, and they need a new facade, and they need a new mechanical system, and. Uh, we remodeled once about a 15-story building in Brussels, and, you know, and the only reason why it wasn't torn down and built new was uh, because uh, of a permissive uh, zoning in the 50s. Uh, they couldn't have built the same building, same size anymore next to the old city. Sitting here in London, we have an eclectic new blend of, uh, of uh, buildings going up in the financial district. What are your thoughts as you look at those? 
Well, I think, um, you know, we were originally part of one which was never built and never approved. And uh, it was at that time the tallest one, it was in Bishop's Gate. And, um, and um, uh, it reminds me a little bit uh, what happened in Frankfurt when we did the Messe Tower, and which was really the first tall building except the Deutsche Bank, and that was only 80 meters tall, a double tower. And, the Tower was 252 or 253, and that has led to a very vital skyline, and it actually has improved the city in terms of its its uh, character, as you see it on the skyline, and in terms of its actually life in the city, on the street, through activating and uh, revitalizing a kind of a fairly sleepy, dreary uh, downtown.